Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards. Today we're taking a look at a keyboard that I have been anticipating. I, As always, I, I do my best not to read too much, but just from the photos, I was quite interested. And uh, this is one of the newer offerings from a company that we all are probably very familiar with. Today we're going to be looking at this Skyloom GK87 Pro. And this is an interesting keyboard. I have not made it much of a secret that TKLs are one of my favorite layouts. Um, you know, it's simple. It cuts off the numpad, though. Whenever I use a TKL or smaller, I just end up with a my numpad. So it's like, I just like it in one piece. I don't know. I've just been very fond of the TKLs when they first started appearing um, a while back because there was time that I did not need to do a lot of number entering and a TKL was just enough. Um, it was easy to keep in my bag and I didn't have to worry about using anyone else's keyboard if I was on a service call. Anyway, this is a TKL on a new level though. This takes a TKL and it, it changes some things around. But let's go ahead and take a look and find out for ourselves. All right, before we take a look at the keyboard, let's just see what else we have inside the box. We have a nicely braided uh, USB-A to USB-C cable. We have an extra set of stabilizers. Do we have a split space bar situation here? Perhaps. We've got a USB-C to USB-A converter. And then we have what I would imagine are the keys for these extra stabilizers. They actually look pretty cool. Let's take a look at them. They appear to be PBT die sub. And they have some, uh, I think that's a dragon. I'm not quite sure. But it looks pretty cool. It definitely looks fiery all right and this bag now this is i gotta say this might be the first time ever that i've seen a spudger included in a uh, keyboard let alone a pre-built keyboard i always have spudgers nearby and of course oh there we go um i buy them i think at 50 packs uh from amazon but uh this is a little different, it has a point on one end, but the most important part, the one I use the most, this. Usually the best thing to do for unclipping plastic keyboards, because you, you use a screwdriver or a metal tip, it's very likely to break them, whereas I have, knock on wood, as of yet broken anything with these, but it's nice that it includes this. Now it also includes what appears to be the, um, the bumpers, the gaskets for screw and stabilizers. So, hmm, very interesting. And we also appear to have some extra stabilizer bars in here of different lengths. Yeah, we got. Oh, we. <laughs> There's a little bit of grease in a Ziploc bag for you. That's, uh, they're being thorough. I, I can definitely say that. I'm guessing there's going to be some, uh, yeah, that's definitely greasy. I would have figured out another way, but definitely looks like there's some stabilizers to be building here. Looks like we have some more extra keys. So it looks like we have some extra keys, and these are probably the only pudding keys that I like. Um, they have, I want to say it's PBT, usually a top shot of PBT, and then the rest of the body, body is a polycarbonate. But um, this is like the soda keycaps. I really like this design because it allows the key to shine from underneath, um, but still have a non-shine non through top. So these appear to be primarily... Now those look like media keys uh, or novelties, but again, a nice inclusion. 
Looks like we've got a whole bunch of extra switches. A good amount of extra switches. Very important. I really appreciate it when manufacturers just... It's it's not even that much of an effort, but to throw a few extra switches in the keyboard box, you know, just in case something happens, um, is always a nice thing. So it looks like we've got some gain runs. And I'm not hearing any ping, so I'm going to guess these are G-Pros. And it's your regular browns without too much of a tactile bump, but enough to feel it. Just to finish what's in the box, we have a little instruction card for the shortcuts and as well as uh, indicating the spaces where you can change out knobs and it is English on one side and what I believe is Chinese on the other. And it also comes with a nice dust cover which needs some removing because it has some strong tape on it. <laughs> the tape says begin typing guess they want you to get right to it and here we are with the Skyloom GK87 Pro with knobs and a screen and wouldn't you look at that screen that's a nice size screen now did you see what just happened there basically it's using these switch bottoms with some pog pins as basically the receiver for it but if you wanted to you could just go ahead and replace it with switches. It's your choice. You can do with it as you'd like. That is really cool. Um, I've got to say, Skyloon is, they're bringing some game. Um, this, it's cold. It feels like that, that could actually be like an aluminum back. Then we have a pretty cool, very nice design. And it looks like it's a... I don't know if it's in the case or if it's underneath the case. I can't quite tell. It looks like it's in the case, but I could be wrong. It has a very nice heft. All right, so this has a magnetic door. Here's the 2.4 receiver. That is very well in, <laughs> um, adjust, or it's very well fitted in its own little spot. And I, I gotta say, I like the, um, the little hideaway. What's this? Is it a bird? Is it a flame? Is it Superman? <laughs> um, I gotta say, I like that. Uh, the keys are definitely interesting when it comes to the legends. They, uh, they definitely, they swung for the fences here. And I've gotta say, oh, oh. I think they may have hit it out of the park. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on with the screen, because, uh, why not? And apparently, based on the instruction manual, you can have three. These are full knobs where they have the button, or potentiator, so you can turn them indefinitely. And you have them also as a push button, so technically they each can be programmed three different actions. Uh, but it looks like you can also replace these two with either switches and or knobs or move them around to your heart's content. And again, with the screen, you can pop it off if you need to use these for your navigation cluster, then go for it. Um, and you put the screen aside, but otherwise you've got the screen. I gotta say, I don't believe I would be being hyperbolic to say that this is not one of the most interesting newer designs. Um, combination of features that everyone likes but into a just a new design while still maintaining a known and beloved layout um i'm i i gotta say i i really like this i like i said i saw the pictures and i was like oh that looks pretty cool and i thought it'd be more of a i don't know just aesthetic kind of thing but there is more than the aesthetic it's the fact that it's it's fully functional. It's not like it's just, uh, I mean, yeah, of course, the screen, it, one could argue, but sometimes even just having a picture of your kid on there or your loved one or 
something that brings you inspiration I, it, that goes beyond an aesthetic it could be it could serve a purpose to you even if it's just the words you can do it or you know this friday right this you know whatever it is it gives you and that's a that's a nice ice cream i've got to believe it's got a good amount of memory i i definitely will have to get to that um load up the software and see what kind of uh animations i could put on there and how long now being that it's that big i almost want to be like does it have speakers <laughs> but then at what point do you just end up making a new computer out of your keyboard i guess the, you know we're going into cyber deck territory there but um this is combining so much i mean obviously you got the colors are similar to the samurai when you get the gold legends with the uh, red and the black but it evokes so much more than that it evokes fire um the what looks like ancient writing hieroglyphs or cuneiforms just give it that uh, i don't even know what to say it just like a not necessarily fantasy but closer to a dungeons and dragon uh, type of feel but at the same time with technology mixed into it so like a not steampunk but dragon punk i don't know the colors on this now i do know it does come in two other colorways one of them's blue and the other is green i believe i'm not sure off the bat um i usually blue is my favorite color but just from the quick pictures that I took a look at uh, before Skyloom sent this out to me uh, and they asked which color I'd be interested in and I immediately said the red and the black because I just thought that it's going to look the best and I think I may have made a good decision because like I said blue is usually my favorite color and I don't think I would have disliked the blue but I really like this one. Oh, there we are. We have the screens and the lights turning on. All right, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get in there and play with the manual and the software um, to figure out the controls here. All right, right now, it obviously wants to connect over wireless. And the three is blinking. What if I turn it back off? Sounds like I've got a wizard. Come here. Come here. Hey, everybody. This is Velcro. Hey, you say hello to everybody, Velcro. You want to say hello? Huh? You're just going <laughs> to... You are... Um... <laughs> I think he is taking over the studio now. He is now becoming very good friends with the laptop. So what you doing? Are you coming to beg me for treats? You must have just gotten treats from mommy, huh? Like it's my turn to come get some treats from daddy. Oh yeah. You like that laptop, don't you? Just rub your face against it. Uh, why did they put function here? Uh, I really wish they'd stick to leaving function here or even here but this should be control this should always be control uh, all right so that allows you to switch oh it looks like yeah that's got a little different animation so it must have a little chunk of memory there to store uh, some uh you can have a slideshow some people might say, oh, that's silly. I don't I don't think that's silly for everybody. I know I, I enjoy having a display and showing cool little things that inspire me throughout my day. Hey, life's too short. Be happy as often as you can, no? All right, I'm going to have to get back to that RGB control and take a look at the software. I mean, the screen control, the OLED, because it's uh, it's asking me to... To use a key called menu. I mean, this is the option key, but I know sometimes it's called menu. 
this one right here, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do, so. And I mean, I should be able to do this and go right back to that little menu thing. But it just goes back to animation. I'll try to figure it out and get back to it. But for right now, I, while I was playing around with it, I'm noticing how nice this sounds. Now, of course, we've got two different kick-out feet. Put them up because I don't have the wrist rest out. But it sounds really nice. <clears throat> it sounds extremely nice. All right, so we know we've got these key caps. What are we looking at? 1.5 millimeter. Yeah, see, it's polycarbonate, but 1.5 millimeter thick. That's why they're giving a nice little thought down to them right off the bat. Now, let's see about these stabilizers. Seem to be pretty well attached, and they are attached to what looks to be a PC plate. Wait a minute. The plate's like a silicone rubber. It it's what's got one on? <laughs> I am I'm a little bit stumped, I must say. Oh, no, it's an FR4 plate, but it has like a silicone rubber skin above the plate. It's almost like a silencer pad for what is an FR4 plate. Wow. It also has the IXPE foam. It's not up here to have pet, though. Wow. That's that's interesting. That's the first time I've seen that. I must say that is the first time I have noticed that. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the new Skyloom GK87 Pro, a three-mode TKL with the ability for six hot swappable knobs and comes with three built in. It also has a hot swap screen which can be replaced with normal switches for the 6-key navigation cluster. It is preloaded with a 7200 milliamp hour battery and weighs 1150 grams. This keyboard's chin sits at 25 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 36 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 6 degrees. Lifting the first set of feet out will raise the back to 44 millimeters, changing the typing angle to 9 degrees. Using the final set of flip out feet will take the back up to 49 millimeters in height with a typing angle of 11 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $123.90 from Skyloom.vip. So I took a quick look at the software. It is going to take me a minute to get used to it. They have done an update and some of the changes aren't what I'm used to. Um, there's definitely no way to flip the function uh, and control positions, but um, I'm trying to figure out how exactly it's like to load m multiple pictures up. So I will do a video specifically covering that. Right now, I'm gonna leave you guys with the sound test of this stock GK87 Pro that honestly, I mean, I can't wait to take it down and see how it's built on the inside. Um, now, it didn't say anything about it having any flexibility. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to have much give, so I don't believe this is either top or gasket mounted, but that introduction of the, I think they call it sandwich on their site. So I'm very interested to see if that's like, uh, basically like an almost a rubber envelope. It's being, you know, it's also acting as the plate PCB dampener, but also covering the plate. I don't know. I'm interested to see how that works. But like I said, for right now, I'm gonna leave you guys with a stock sound test of the GK87 Pro. Um, uh, I will be coming back to it real soon. Like I said, I will uh, do a more in-depth video because I think it's gonna take some time uh, to go through all the screens and just basically walk through how to upload the videos and also navigate the menus because it does have choices for, um, I mean, there are keyboard shortcuts, but you can also select your mode, select devices to connect to, um, everything like that. And it may have a little bit more power than it, they're given on. Uh, now, if it had the ability to do word per minute count, I think that would be something a lot of people would enjoy. But I want to see how many pictures I can get up there, what type of memory I'm working with. So it's going to take me a little while to answer those questions. If you guys have any questions, you guys, you, if there's anything that you'd like for me to cover, uh, please leave it down in the comments below. I do read every single comment and I do my best to respond to any that are questions. So I'll leave you guys with the stock sound test GK87 Pro with gator on g pro brown stock so but <laughs> i don't know you tell me what do you think of this keyboard and how it sounds stock out of the box i'd like to hear your thoughts let's get a conversation going until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on